Welcome to Sister's Kitchen Counter. Konnichiwa! Today, Haruna and I are going to be showing you how to make two rice ball fillings and then make rice balls with you. Rice balls are called omusubi in Japanese. Uh, for Japanese rice balls, you have to use Japanese short grain white rice. Uh, omusubi or rice balls are usually triangle in shape and have some sort of filling inside and it's usually wrapped in seaweed, uh, but it doesn't have to be triangle in shape. It can be circular and the uh, filling that you put inside uh, is almost endless. Uh, today we're going to show you how to make the tuna mayo filling and a salted salmon filling. And um, that's it, right? Yes. Okay, so we have four cups of, uh, four servings of cooked Japanese white rice that's still warm to the touch. And this has been lightly salted and mixed. And let's start on the filling. So I'm going to show you how to make the tuna mayo filling. It's easy peasy. It's only three ingredients. Uh, one can of tuna. Uh, just be sure to drain the water out of the can. And I'm going to mix two tablespoons of uh, mayo in here. And half teaspoon of dashi powder. This is a bonito fish soup stock. I'm going to combine and mix it well. And there you have the tuna mayo filling. Next, uh, let's talk about the salted salmon filling called the shiojake in Japanese. Uh, you will find salted salmon in any grocery store in Japan, but it's impossible to find here. So I like to make the salted salmon here at home. What I do is uh, I buy a, a salmon filet and I put a half a teaspoon of a sea salt. So it's a very generous amount of salt on both sides of the salmon, even on the skin too as well and I'll cover it in saran wrap and put it in my fridge and leave it overnight. What the salting process does is that it uh, removes the fishiness from the, uh, from the salmon and it also helps to firm up the salmon flesh a little. The next day when I want to use the salted salmon, I'll take it out of my fridge, I'll put the salmon filet on a baking sheet and broil it in my oven four to five minutes per side until the salmon is fully cooked. And this is what the end uh, product will look like. I'm just gonna remove a little piece so that we can start uh, making the rice ball together. So let's uh, wet mm -hmm. one of our hands. Kana, you wanna make this together? Yes. Okay, <laughs> what, wait one of our hands. I'm gonna pat, pat my hand. You just wanna wet your hand so the rice doesn't uh, stick onto your hand. And I'm going to take about a quarter a cup, right? About a quarter cup mm -hmm. of rice onto my hand. I'm gonna put it on my non-dominant hand I'm a righty, so I'm going to put it on my left hand. And I'm going to put about a tablespoon of a mixture, half a tablespoon to a tablespoon of mixture, okay, onto the rice. Here. And I'm going to take another quarter cup of rice onto the filling. And I'm going to make a V-shape with both of my hands and start rotating the rice ball. And I'm doing exactly the same thing that Haruna did, except mine has uh, the salted salmon filling inside. And uh, making a rice ball is one of those things where it's practice makes perfect. Mm -hmm. You might not get it a, a perfect rice ball the first time around, but after a few tries, you'll definitely get a hang of it. Uh, I like to rotate around 20 times. We're not pressing that hardly, uh, that hard. Uh, we're just doing this so that uh, we keep the triangle shape and we're rotating it so that the rice doesn't fall apart. I think it's been about 20 times. I think so. Mm -hmm. So last but not least, we're going to use a piece of uh, sushi seaweed and wrap it around the rice ball. There you have, this is the tuna mayo filling rice ball. And this right here is the salted salmon uh, rice ball. And what you can do at the end is uh, you can put some of your filling on top of the rice ball so that the person who's eating it, or even yourself, uh, you'll know which rice ball you're eating. So Haruna's just gonna show you yeah, what she does by adding just a little bit of a tuna mayo filling on top of her rice ball little, so that people know little. what they're eating. Like that. And there you have it. There you have. Thanks for watching. Uh, full recipe for these fillings uh, is on our website at sisterskitchencounter.com. Arigato! Matane!